Welcome to our carol service. We hope you enjoy it. a happy and full Christmas. Yay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the St. John's with St. Mary's carol service today. Of course, we would like to be sitting next to each other, warming ourselves on candles and enjoying fellowship. But we can't do that in person. What we can do is join in with each other wherever we are to celebrate Christmas with this service of carols and readings. So wherever you are, whether in, on your street it's a silent night, whether you're in a little town or a royal city, whether you're about to go on a journey in the car or perhaps on a little donkey, whether you're putting something away in the cupboard or away in a manger, if you can see what the weather's like and you can see some winter snow there or there's three kings travelling towards you, whatever's happening to you. We can rejoice and celebrate. Why do we rejoice and celebrate? Because of the light of Christ. So with candles lit and with voices to listen and voices to raise in our own homes and sing along, 
with readings from scripture that remind us of the light of Jesus. Let us be merry, let us ding dong merrily on high and come rejoicing because Christ is born again. As the familiar carol, O come all ye faithful says, joyful and triumphant after a difficult year and a difficult time for God's created world. God is still in control. He is and will be triumphant. So thinking of the light of Christ that came into the world, let us pray. Generous God, we thank you for the gift of Jesus who brought light into the world. As we celebrate with carols and readings, as we think about the joy of that first Christmas, may we know the light of Jesus in our lives. Amen. So enjoy the carols, enjoy singing along, enjoy the readings, but most of all, enjoy the light of Jesus with us afresh this Christmas. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your watchmen lift up their voices, together they shout for joy. When the Lord returns to Zion, they will see it with their own eyes. Burst into songs of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord will lay bare his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth will see the salvation of our God.
And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Hi everyone and happy Christmas. My name's Chris and I'm the vicar of St John's and St Mary's. It's great to be able to share this online carol service with you and I hope you're joining in at home. I just want to take a few moments to talk about this story, to explore it a little bit more. It's probably a story that you're super familiar with. You've heard it before. But I really think that this story has something to say to us this year, today, in 2020. You see, these angels appear to the shepherds and they're announcing good news. Not just any kind of good news, not just your local news, good news section. This is good news of great joy for all people. This Jesus that's being born, this child in a manger, is something incredible. It's good news for the whole world. And it's something that will bring so many people joy. That's amazing. That's something worth talking about. That's something worth exploring. What do you do when you hear good news? What would you do if you heard the angels announce this news? The shepherds jumped up and hurried to see for themselves. I wonder if you've ever explored this good news for yourself. If you've ever, like the shepherds, hurried to see what all this fuss is about. This fuss about a baby in a manger. This Jesus who is born to be saviour of the world. Our invitation to you as a church this Christmas is why not find out? Why not come and investigate for yourself? Come and see and see if this Jesus really is good news for all the world. And these shepherds are told where to find this good news. They're told to go and look for the baby and that they'll find him lying in a manger. And this is amazing for the shepherds because it means that they're not looking for this good news uh, somewhere far away. They're not looking for this somewhere unfamiliar to them in some royal palace or in some rich and exclusive place. This good news is in somewhere humble somewhere small, somewhere close by, somewhere that would be so familiar to them, in a place where animals feed from, in a place where baby lambs might be placed. This Christmas time, as we spend more time at home than going out, perhaps we'll discover some good news of great joy. Perhaps we'll discover this Jesus somewhere so familiar to us, somewhere so close by. 
The other thing you might do when you hear good news is you might go and tell other people about it. Gossip it, tell it to everyone that you meet. That's what these shepherds did when they saw that it was true, when they saw this baby in the manger with Mary and Joseph, uh, when they saw that everything that the angels had said was true, when they saw this good news for themselves, they couldn't help themselves. They just had to go out and share it. I mean, I'm imagining that this is the middle of the night and they're just running around the town saying, have you seen this amazing thing? Knocking on people's doors, making an absolute fuss and waking everyone up to say, this is amazing. Have you seen this? So if you look into this Jesus and find out that what the angels say about him is true, that he is the one who's the saviour of the world, he is good news for everyone, then don't keep it to yourself. Tell people, encourage people this Christmas, because we need encouragement and good news this Christmas time. And the final thing these shepherds do is they go out praising God. And that's what we're here to do in this carol service tonight. These amazing carols uh, that we love to sing at Christmas time, they're songs of praise to God for his sending of Jesus, his son, for his coming into the world to be our saviour. So as we continue with our service now, we're going to sing these songs of praise to God, just as the shepherds did that first Christmas night.
today we're going to be praying in stages. First, we will pray for ourselves, then our friends and family, then our community, then the, our country, and finally the world. At the end of each prayer, I will say, Jesus, our saviour. And if you would reply, hear our prayer. So let us pray. Christ, who is worshipped by the shepherds, help us to respond like they did to the good news, that we will seek you out like they searched for you in Bethlehem, that we will run to find the good news, that we will be excited about it and help us to worship you as our Lord, to realise how good the gospel is, that at Christmas you came to save us. Jesus, our saviour, hear our prayer. Jesus, the king who was born in a stable, help us to have courage to share this news with our friends. Let this be the Christmas that they finally see you as their Lord and saviour, that they behold you in both your majesty and humility, that they will worship you like the shepherds worshipped you, not trying to earn their way, but simply falling and kneeling in front of you. Jesus, our saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, you are the Lord who stepped down from glory to seek the lost, the broken and the hurting. We pray for our community. We pray that you will comfort those who find this time of year difficult. That you will seek out those in our community who are lost and hurting. And Lord, we especially think of the beacon. We ask that you protect all of their service users over the next few months, that you will be looking after them and sustaining them through these difficult winter months. And Lord, we lift the whole of Mansfield to you. We ask for your protection to be felt across this town. Protect people as they celebrate Christmas in their own way. And we ask for your blessing especially with this year being so difficult. Lord, we pray that people will see your blessings in their lives, that you will bless them this Christmas. Jesus, our saviour, hear our prayer. Christ, the child who the wise men knelt beside, we ask that you give wisdom and humility to all those who govern. From our district and parish councils all the way to number 10. Lord, we ask you give them humility and wisdom to lead us well, to take us in the best direction. We pray especially for the big things facing our country. Covid, Brexit, new trade deals, budget decisions, to name just a few. Lord, we ask that your hand be in all of those decisions and that you give wisdom and humility to those who lead, that they will act justly, love mercy and walk humbly as they lead us. Jesus, our saviour, hear our prayer. Finally, God, we lift up our world to you. This world that we are constantly reminded is broken and messed up and we ask for your healing. We ask that the song the angels sung on that first Christmas day about peace on earth will be sung by the rest of the world. Lord, that you will bring your peace into this broken world. And Lord, we pray especially over COVID that the wealthy countries will help those who are less fortunate. That as a world, we will seek to help those who have been most badly affected by this disease. We also pray for global warming 
and the climate emergencies that we are starting to see. Help us to see the world as a beautiful creation and help us to protect it for the sake of our neighbours and for the sake of future generations. Jesus, our Saviour, hear our prayer. We now gather all of our prayers together by saying the prayer that our Saviour Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As we come towards the end of our carol service, thank you so much for joining us uh, to celebrate this Christmas time. If you want to find out more, there's some more services on our website, uh, which is stjohnswithstmarys.org.uk. You can look on there to find out more about this Jesus who was born to be good news for all of us. But let me finish by praying for you all. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary and the peace of the Christ child be with you and be yours this Christmas time. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit 
be with you and those you love now and always. Amen. From all of us here at St John's and St Mary's, we wish you the happiest of Christmases uh, and all the best for the new year. God bless. Merry Christmas!